Welcome to the Rocky Mountains in Colorado. And this is a place where you typically wouldn't expect to have any cell phone service. We're out in a remote mountainous area and traditionally you wouldn't be able to get a signal here through your cell phone carrier. But today we're looking at a technology that allows you to get cell phone service just about anywhere. Now, although I don't have any cell phone service through the traditional T-Mobile cell signal that I have, I do have a connection to a satellite orbiting hundreds of miles above thanks to Starlink's direct-to-sell technology. And in this video today, we're gonna to be checking out Starlink direct-to-sell on the T-Mobile network. We're gonna be sending and receiving messages and just generally seeing how it works, how the coverage is, and how well it performs. Before we jump too far into it though, let me give you a quick overview of how Starlink direct-to-sell works. So Starlink has been offering satellite internet service through their global constellation of thousands of satellites in low Earth orbit for years but they've recently started launching satellites with direct-to-cell technology. And what that does is basically turn those satellites into cell phone towers in space. So they're orbiting hundreds of miles overhead, but they're able to beam a signal, just a regular cell 4G, 5G cell phone signal directly down to an unmodified cell phone like this one. Here's my iPhone, and this is able to connect directly to the satellite above. That gives you supplemental coverage from space. SCS is what the FCC defines that as. So it's basically like an extension, like a roaming network, if you will. Whenever you get outside of traditional cell phone tower range, you'll be able to connect automatically to the Starlink T-Mobile network, which is the direct-to-cell network, basically anywhere in the world with Starlink's global constellation of satellites. Right now in the United States, T-Mobile is partnering with Starlink and they're offering this service to consumers. It's not something you buy through Starlink, it's something you have to go through T-Mobile for. Right now they have a beta testing period and that's what I'm signed up for and that's what I'm using here. It's free until July. After that, they're gonna be charging about $15 per month for T-Mobile subscribers. Or if you're not on the T-Mobile network, you can buy Starlink direct to sell access for $20 a month. So I actually wanted to start here in the vehicle because the first time that I used Starlink direct to sell was actually on the drive up here. I noticed that as we're leaving town, the traditional cell phone signal kept getting weaker and weaker. Eventually it just dropped off altogether. Then a few minutes after that, we quick, pretty quickly picked up the T-Mobile SpaceX. That's what the network is called. Uh, let me show you here on the phone. You can actually see I'm connected here, even in the car is T-Mobile SpaceX, and it has SAT for satellite. That's the indication that this is connected to the Starlink direct-to-cell network. So a few interesting notes, um, just as far as connecting goes. When you are out of your typical cell phone range, it will automatically connect to SpaceX Starlink if it's available. Um, I did notice there's kind of a buffer zone there. Like as I was driving, I would lose the signal completely uh, driving into the mountains. And then it was probably a few miles, maybe four or five minutes before I actually picked up the T-Mobile Starlink network. Um, ever since then, I've had about one or two bars. It's a pretty weak signal, it looks like, but the important thing to note there is that on how this works is that it connects automatically. As soon as you have a, an available connection from the Starlink satellites, that's a completely seamless process. It just connected right away. And it even worked in the vehicle. I did get a text message um, it's kind of interesting from the T-Mobile service number. It told me that I was automatically connected to T-Mobile Starlink. And they're talking about the fact that we can send text messages and that sort of thing. So I already know it works based on the fact that I was in the car and I got that text message as I was driving after I left the traditional cell phone range. I did want to mention the way that I'm going to be doing these tests. I have my phone, which is an iPhone 14. It's hooked up to Starlink direct to cell, obviously. And then I have my wife Kelsey's phone. Her phone isn't enrolled in Starlink direct to cell but I do have my Starlink Mini, and I'm gonna be using that to get internet access for her phone. Her phone's gonna be connected to the Wi-Fi, so that'll give us a good opportunity to be able to send and receive text messages right here. One of us connected to the Mini, one of us connected to the Starlink satellites via direct to cell Okay, so let's do some sending and receiving now. Just type in a message here. And that was right away, that was actually instant. So if you notice right there, it says delivered at the bottom. Um, interestingly, so this looks like it supports not only S basic SMS text messaging, but also iMessage and then probably, you know, Android's um, RCS or whatever it's called system. So it's not just SMS texting, you actually get the, the iMessage features as well. 
Um, I was notice noticing before as I was testing before recording this video that whenever I'm typing, Kelsey can see the little speech bubbles on her phone as well. So the typical iMessage features work as well. Let me do just a couple more messages. And that was basically instant. You could hear it there. I can see the notification on the phone that Kelsey's recording on, although you can't see it. But that was basically instant. Let's try another one. Yeah, pretty much instant. That's pretty impressive. Okay, let's do some more testing here. I've got both phones now, just for a side-by-side -side comparison. Uh, this is uh, Kelsey's phone on the Starlink Wi-Fi. As you can see, it's basically instant as I'm going back and forth. So if I hit, if I say like reply, this one is the first message that I've noticed that is actually you can see the little bars there, the little blue bar at the top that's telling me that message is still loading. So this is the first one that it really seems like there's actually a delay. As you can see, I still haven't gotten it on this phone. And there I just dropped off. So if you can see there, it just says SOS with the satellite icon. That means that we've lost connection. Whereas previously before, standing under the hatch here, it was working fine. So I'm also noticing that um, as far as the spotty connectivity. Um, it is important to note that, you know, right now we're kind of just at the very beginning of Starlink direct to cell Not many satellites up. It will continue to improve as far as the service goes, as I just saw that it reconnected there automatically. So it is a little bit spotty in terms of coverage and service, but if you stand out in an open area long enough, your message will go through. I backed away from the car now just to see if this can send the message. It's still not wanting to send it through. It's been sitting here for several minutes, just trying and trying and trying, even though I can see at the top there that it does have one bar of uh, Starlink T-Mobile. That message is still trying to send. I actually tried another one just to verify and it's just been kind of loading that blue bar. Even though I'm walking around trying to point the phone in different directions, it's still not wanting to send. Um, just seems like it's kind of stuck there trying to get those messages out. So it finally sent this message right here, the one that I said to reply. Um, it took probably five to seven minutes to send that one and it's still working on this this test message right here, the most recent one that I sent, it seems to be pretty sporadic in terms of the signal and what works and what doesn't work. It's interesting because on, on Kelsey's phone that's connected to the Starlink internet, um, I sent this message that says reply um, almost, you know, just like a 30 seconds ago and it, and it went like almost instantly. So what definitely seems like is happening is that there's not too many Starlink satellites with direct to cell that are orbiting overhead. I know there's probably around 500 of them or so, but the issue is that those 500 are orbiting the globe. So you're not getting very many options as far as satellites go to connect to if you're trying to do direct to cell. So what's happening, I think, is that you're having to wait for a connection or for a decent satellite connection in order for those messages to send and receive. So even when you're at a place like I am right now where I do have a pretty clear view of the sky all around me, you're gonna have to wait a little bit if those messages are not sending through right away. I did try a voice call as well and sending an image. I also tried in like an internet speed check um, on the speed test app and there's no image functionality right now, at least that I could get to work. I couldn't get an image to send over text message. I also couldn't get a voice call to go through. That's not surprising. T-Mobile has said that those are functions that are not available right now but I just thought I'd try them out for you for this test and I can confirm that those aren't working. Just basic text messaging support at the moment. So that final message finally went through. It probably took uh, a good five or seven minutes, like I said, for it to finally get enough signal to go through. And I also want to reiterate that um, I've tried both you know, sitting here kind of under the car, under the hatch of the car, just trying to walk around in a clear view of the sky, and it doesn't seem to matter um, whether you have a clear view of the sky or not. It'll tell me that uh, I've got a bar or two. 
uh, inside or outside a car, and it still takes, you know, sometimes it's instant, sometimes it takes five or seven minutes to a message to send. Uh, just seems kind of random, seems kind of like, um, depending on what satellite you get or what the where the satellite is in the in the sky relative to your position on what amount of time it's going to take for that message to finally go through. So as far as my review and impressions of Starlink direct to sell, I think it's important to keep in mind that this is the worst that it will ever be. Uh, even Apple system or the Google system that's coming out, these satellite messaging systems are still in their infancy. So. I'm kind of keeping that in mind in my review of Starlink Direct to Cell. For all I would say, it's pretty amazing that you can get a cell phone signal just about anywhere. Uh, nationwide, according to the T-Bubble, it's in the sky. And as I've demonstrated today, it does work inside of a vehicle, so you don't need a completely unobstructed view of the sky. I did have issues with coverage. It seems like the coverage is pretty spotty. You'll be driving down you know, a road through the mountains, and you'll pick up the Starlink T-Bubble signal. And then if you pause later in the while, I'm going to continue to do videos on Starlink direct to sell. I have one coming up where I'm going to be taking a look at the difference between Apple's built-in satellite messaging on iPhone versus Starlink direct to sell. So make sure you're subscribed to the channel if you want to see that comparison video that's coming out soon. As always, thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.